All right, we have to find the axis of symmetry of this quadratic function and then determine the coordinates of this function's vertex. So to find the axis of symmetry of a quadratic, we use the equation negative b divided by 2a. Now, this equation is already in standard form. And the coefficient of your x squared term is going to be your a term. The coefficient of your x term is going to be your b term. And this constant right here is our c term. And to find the axis of symmetry, we need the a value and the b value. So let's substitute those values into our equation. So we end up getting negative b. And b in this case is negative 8. So we substitute negative 8 in for b. And then we just double a. And there is nothing in front of the x, meaning our coefficient is 1. So we would double 1, which would be 2. So that gives us positive 8 divided by positive 2 which is equal to 4. All right, now after solving this equation, what you do is you just write an x and set it equal to the value that you just came up with, which is 4. So x equals 4 is a vertical line that would intersect positive 4 on the x-axis. All right, now that we have that number, what we do is we plug it into our given equation, and that would give us the corresponding y value, which would tell us what the vertex of this function is. So let us go ahead and take our equation, y equals, instead of x squared, we're going to write 4 squared minus 8 times, and we substitute x with 4, and then we subtract 9. And after solving this, this is going to give us the y value of our coordinate. So we have y equals 4 squared, which is 16, minus 32, minus 9. And that can be simplified to y equals 16 minus 41, which is equal to negative 25. So the coordinates of our function's vertex would be located at 4, negative 25. 